likes you. No one likes you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nanda, if it's your first time here. Welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Yeah, so if you would like to follow me on social media, here is my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun, go enjoy whatever. And while you're here, you can check out some of my recent videos. A couple days ago, I posted an everything wrong with Euphoria, so that was fun, right? And then before that, I posted um, a Let's Talk new releases, talking about new releases in makeup. And then before that, I posted a review slash reaction, I guess, to Chloe and Halle's masterpiece, Ungodly Hour. So yeah, if any of that interests you, go check it out. So I'm deep conditioning my hair. I wasn't gonna wash it out for a YouTube video. So let's get started. So I really don't have time nor energy for this, which is why I'm doing it while I'm deep conditioning my hair. So if the title is what I think it's going to be, I said what I said and I meant what I said, loser. Does that make me a bully? No, if you're a loser, you're a loser. I don't, I can't control your loser-ishness. Um, I can't, doesn't make me a bully. It makes me observant, all right? So what happened exactly? So in the middle of the fucking night, like a loser does, Shane Dawson decided, who's on, who's who I'm talking about, decided to get on that wretched big blue app that I love and release some statement that nobody asked for. Um, let me explain to you how nobody asked for this statement. Um, I didn't ask. Did you ask, raise your hand if you asked Shane Dawson to make a statement about the beauty community at three in the morning? Raise your hand. I don't see a hand raised, so I'm gonna go with this was unwarranted. Um, I don't, my whole brand is sharing unwarranted opinions, but mine makes sense. That's the, that's the thing, mine kind of, whatever. So there's been apparently, so like, okay, there's been a lot of stuff happening with Jehovah Scat and um, Shane Dawson over the past week, I would say. Basically, people are coming out with like stories and like tell-alls and like drama channels are being like, we were paid off. And I was like, well, we told you so. And it was like all of that. So I feel, so I'm like, I can talk about that if you guys want me to, but I feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg and like a lot more is about to happen. So I'm kind of just gonna wait and like see where this takes us see where this journey takes us oh because it's not look it's not looking great and you know we told you so but whatever so basically let me move my ipad basically it came out that shane dawson and mean girl baltimore like planned drama get and i don't know what you want me to say to that except i told you so um most black female commentators on here told you so because it was obvious oh I didn't know, the thing is with Shane, Shane being involved, I, I'm talking about the, that who should not be named, him. We told you so. What, what were you, whatever, whatever. So apparently there were some phone calls, like this is all new information, there were some phone calls made where Shane Dawson apparently was on like a little bully to James Charles or whatever, and then the man who looks like he wakes up and dies every day was also bullying James, a uh, color me shocked. Co co color color me I don't know if I've said this before maybe it, I edited out of a video do I believe the 45 year old loser was bullying the 19 year old who surpassed him in subscribers absolutely it's loser behavior I don't know I don't do I do I believe that he was jealous of him and the fan base he had a comp he had amassed in the past basically like three years compared to Jeffree Star's ooh, compared to his like however long he's been alive yeah how would you not believe that? How would you not believe that? This man is a reformed loser turned mean girl because he got money. That's literally how this happened. You can't, there are some people who stay lo loser. Okay, so there's like losers and then there's like people who are losers at their core. He's a loser at his core. Whatever. At the time and still now, because James um, gained all his subscribers back, James has a bigger fan base than that man. Um, he has a more secure fan base than that man. He has a fan base that people won't bully if they see than that man, all right? So he's less of a problem to work with. Let's look at the car facts. James's first collaboration with Morphe was an entire palette, an entire palette that basically stopped the, um, the makeup industry for a while because everyone was like, oh my God, the first rainbow palette, even though it wasn't, but like in a way, that's what he, his first collaboration, first, was a palette. That man's was a brush set. The man who was supposed to be James's mentor, his teacher, the man who was going to teach him everything he knows, he got a brush set and James got a palette. So 
the jealousy, the wanting to take down, it all makes sense. It all, it all, it all, oh, listen, the man he'll never be in Sephora. Ulta is only under the presence of Morphe and I'm talk. let's be honest, every time I go into Ulta, um, his pink garbage but Pepto-Bismol stuff is always fully stocked and James's Charles is always sold out. So who's winning here? Who, who's winning here? It's not you. It's, it's not him. It's not him. It's not him. He lost. He lost. And we told you, whatever, whatever. But so James Charles has amassed an incredibly built and strong fan base in like basically like three or four years. I mean, if they left during the whole drama game, they came right back. So it wasn't, there, there wasn't, it wasn't, there wasn't, um, like they, he didn't break the foundation. Okay. Like I, he, he lost a lot of subscribers, but like he still had a lot. And also with the losing subscribers, it's very interesting. Do I believe, I think it was 2 million, 3 million, 3 million people actually actively sent unsubscribe from him? No, probably has to do with the YouTube's algorithm, which maybe Jehovah Rat is a part of, but whatever. And it's like, if you put James Charles stands against Jeremiah Starburst stands, it wouldn't even be a fair fight. You have 14 year old snarky girls who are James Charles's fans, great against 30 old losers with an internet connection. Um, it's not a fair fight. It's not a fair fight. And that's why he's mad. That's why he's mad. That's why he tried to take down his career. Come on now, use your brain. Listen, James was doing what you were doing, but he was doing it better. And that's why he got mad. He was doing exactly what Jeffree Star was doing, but better. That's why, and he was like, he's half his age. Like, why did this happen mere, I think it was weeks or maybe at max a month after James surpassed him in number of subscribers and became the most subscribed to beauty YouTuber. Why did this happen merely weeks after that? It's not a coinkadink. I said this in, oh, maybe my, um, the best beauty community drama video. I was like, I feel like he had the, had this plan for a while and then he had a little burner phone and the second he passed in subscribers, he was like, okay, plan's a go. Operation sister is a go. That's what happened. Come on. The man can't have competition. He can't. He ha he can't have someone doing something potentially better than him because that's a therefore threat to his fame and fortune that he's um, um, amassed throughout his lifetime which seems pretty worthless to me. If a 19 year old is threatening it, it seems pretty worthless to me, okay? He's an overgrown man coward, whatever, whatever. This is, this is not about him. This is not his video. So let me move back to Stink. Let's move back to Stink. So this statement was in response to allegations about Shane Joss Dawson trying to end James Charles' career. And we're gonna go through it. I have my iPad, so we're gonna go through this statement. Let me, ah, ah, come on. So. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'm gonna go through the parts that, um, let me explain to you something. Um, this was written in haste. And when I say written in haste, I mean he sat down on his couch and wrote this entire thing out in one shot and then posted it on Twitter. I don't think anybody edited this. If it was, it was a spell check. <laughs> so, <laughs> point two, did I tell her to make a video? Of course you did. Huh? He says, no, that's a lie. Huh? Cause you were decaying Meerkat's latest buddy of the week. So of course you knew she was making the video because he told her to make the video, allegedly, I'm not getting sued. He told the, he told Tati to make, listen, listen, listen. Okay, this is also a separate thing. In Smokey Glow's video, Hannah, her video, she talked about how she, um, Shane Dawson never says Tati's name. We're just all kind of assuming it's Tati cause like who else would he be talking about? It's very interesting how he never mentions her name in this. Um, hoping they got hit with a cease and desist by Tachi, but you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So, you may, he told her to make the video. So therefore you knew she was going to make the video. Don't play in my face. Are you kidding me? Don't play in my face. You, you, lies. We start point two is a lie. Whatever, then, did I need the point five? Did I need that kind of drama to make a good series? No. So why was your entire trailer about Dramageddon? Explain that. Let's simply, you know, let me put this down. Let's simply start here. Why was your entire, this trailer, 
this trailer, the a nine part infomercial for that palette, which we also told you about, um, had a trailer that was all over Twitter and YouTube and stuff. And now I'm pretty sure it was like 80% about Dramageddon. 80%. Drama, mind you, Dramageddon had been over for like five to six months. Lipstick gate happened. People had literally gotten over Dramageddon because of lipstick gate. And now you're bringing it back up. Supposing to give people new tea and you gave what? An infomercial. I don't know what you want me to say to this because you're lying. You're lying. You're li Why do you think people watch the first part of your series? They were wanting you to talk about Dramageddon. Nobody cares about how you made your palette. Nobody cares. What? Mm. What's next? Okay, so number seven says, do I have a track record of getting into drama with other people or having fights with other YouTubers? No, you have a track record of blackface. Next point. Um, am I innocent about a huge anxiety? No. Um, okay. In this entire statement, um, Shane Dawson keeps bringing up the fact that he has anxiety and he's very nervous and all that kind of stuff that's a deflection that's a hell of a deflection he's trying to make you feel sorry for him in the statement where he's supposed to be apologizing okay so no i've had a pit in my stomach since it all happened you didn't have the pit in your stomach when your palate was restocked less than 12 hours before of a statement where was the pit in your stomach then i'm confused is anyone else confused are you confused are you confused because i'm confused where was the pit in the stomach? Where was the pit in the, where was the pit in the colon? Where was the pit in the small intestine when you restocked the palate less than 12 hours before the statement? Where was the pit? Where was the pit? Hmm. All right, so those were his eight stations of the cross um, talking about just nonsense. And now we move into his actual, the meat of the statement, right? So. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It helped me be more confident and stand up for myself, which I've always been bad at. Um, okay, I don't really care. <laughs> You're not confident in yourself? Okay, welcome to America. Welcome to being a human being. I don't care. You see little statements trying to make you feel sorry for him and a statement where he's supposed to be apologizing to you, right? Okay, so I don't know what you want me to do for you. Do you want me to cry? What tears do I have left to give you, Shane? What tear in the world that we're living in? There's no tears left for Shane Dawson. There's no tears left for Shane Dawson. You have lost your mind. You, whatever. Next paragraph. Now this paragraph is a read. The beauty people who are always involved in scandals are all the fucking same. They're all attention seeking, game playing, egocentric, narcissistic, vengeful, two faced ticking time bombs, ready to explode and I'm over it. So why'd you read your friend like that? Because that statement, that paragraph is true. That's something I would say, because it's true. I agree with you, stink. I agree with you, stink. But what about your friend? You know, because you're friends with him and now you're in association. It's also interesting to mind how um, um, Jehovah is always like me and Shane, Shane, it's Shane and I. But he's always saying stuff like that. You're in association with this man now that makes you a part of the attention seeking game, playing egocentric, narcissistic, vengeful, tooth faced, ticking time bombs ready to explode. You are now a part of what you mock. This is like White Woman with Karen. You are what you make fun of. That's really, Karen, we're done with Karen. We're done with Karen. You are what you're making fun of. You are Karen. No more, no, we're done. I said that in a video like three weeks ago. No more Karen, you're done with it, no more. That's not what we're talking about. Next, okay, so. Then blah, 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 blah. They also join the side of the internet that is obsessed with looks, money, power, fame, screenshots, and subtweets. The internet. That's the internet. That's the world, actually. He says looks, money, power, fame, screenshots, and subtweets. That's the entire world. That is the entire internet. That's the entire, that's how the internet works. Scandal sells. I thought we learned this in elementary school. Scandal sells. Why do you think everyone gets in scandals? They are using them to sell more. What? Really? Have you? What's going on? It's, mm, you see, deflection from reality, even though you stink. You see, not showering. It doesn't, it affects your brain cells. That's all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about that. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Ready? He's describing the entire world. The entire world is obsessed with looks, money, power, fame, screenshots, and subtweets. Are you dumb? Clearly. Next. So blah. Okay. 
releasing private text, voice memos, emails, and other receipts as a way to paint yourself in a particular light, blah, 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 receipts. Didn't your friend, didn't your friend claim to have scrolls of receipts during Dramageddon? And then he got on that big red app and said, we all threw the bigger person. Wasn't that your friend? See, mm, I don't know, I don't like this. I don't like this being completely unaware of who you hang around with, Shane. I don't like that stink butt. I don't like that. It doesn't make any sense. And then he goes on to say, I love him despite those characteristics. I mean, like racists flock together. So I don't know why anyone's surprised. Racists hang out to get, that's why they're, ooh, they love each other. I mean, like blackface and acid thrower, nigger monkey, gorilla monkey. Well, well of course you guys hang out. To, of course you love him despite those characteristics. Cause you have some of the same characteristics. How interesting to me. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ready? Where are we going next? I can't take the drama anymore. I, I don't care. I don't care. And then this is the next part that, okay, blah, 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 blah. I can't have a pit in my stomach waiting for the next scandal. This is what you're worried about? What? Mm, mm, let me mind, let me mind my business. I don't know everybody else's life. And the second I decide to do a beauty series, boom, I'm in the hurricane. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know if he wants me to feel bad for him. Whatever. This is okay. Do people in the YouTube world come to me like a grandpa and tell me their problems and ask me for advice? Who the hell is going to Shane Dawson for advice? Who in the hell is going to Shane Dawson? Tana Mojo. The racist coalition. That's why he's a therapist for fellow racists. Wow. Maybe that's why they can't, they can't stop. They're going to this man who don't shower for advice. Therapist, a real one. Let's go to a therapist, a real one, not a grandpa. Ugh. Okay. Okay. On to second part. The second part is about Tati. Oh, he said Tati in this. Hmm. Interesting. Once. Interesting. Uh, just, it's, just, it's just interesting. So he said, huh, blah, blah, blah. Was I shocked that Tati read his ass for fucking filth? I don't like this language. Um, I just don't like him talking like that. I just don't. He talks like this a lot in this statement. I don't like all these little, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like any of that. Then she was like, then he was like, um, I still believe her on a lot of what she said and I feel she felt it was what she needed to do at the time. Let's unpack this for a quick minute. Did you really feel that she felt she had to do that? Did you really? Cause where in Tati's Carfax does she have a history of airing out children's business on her channel? Where in her background does, gave you any evidence that she would do something like this? Why did this happen all of a sudden? What could have possibly made Tati of all Miss Six uploads a week, Miss Perfect Beauty YouTuber? What could have possibly have made her change everything and upload a 45 minute video talking about children's business? What? What could have pushed her over the edge to do said thing? Gummy vitamins? I don't think so, boo. Because the video wasn't just about the gummy vitamins. It wasn't just about the gummy vitamins. It was about a lot of other stuff too. What could have pushed her to do that? Did you really feel that she felt she, she felt it was what she needed to do at the time? Did she feel that or did somebody else feel that way? Hmm. 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 All right. Does this, I'm skipping, does this mean, does it mean we should see James as some poor, innocent, sweet angel? I don't like that. I just don't, I don't like that phrase. I don't like, poor, so I don't like, of course James Charles is dramatic, he was 19. We're all dramatic. What is wrong with you? What? As some poor, innocent, sweet, I don't like that. I don't like that phrasing. I just don't like that phrasing. It does not sit well with me, so I'm gonna move on. Third paragraph, real kind of paragraph. This is not really, there's no structuring here, but this is about James Charles. So, do I think, I'm skipping. 
Do I think James Charles was a young, egocentric, power-hungry guru, power-hungry influencer who needed to be served a slice of humble pie the size of the fucking Empire State Building? So your humble pie was sexual assault? I don't know if this is a joke to them. I don't know if sexual assault is a joke to them and can be equated to something such as humble pie, but it's really not a joke to the rest of us or the rest of the world. This is where I get confused, Shanae. This is where I get confused. Cause you're talking about the predator accusation. That's what you're talking about. That was your slice of humble pie. Is that what I'm confused? That's humble pie? What happened to simple teasing? What happened to private humiliation amongst friends? What happened? Where? Why was that art lost? Why did it have to come? Your humble pie is predator accusations. What? Has he grown as a person since then? It really seems like it, and that's amazing. <laughs> okay. Skipping. She really said fuck it and beat her face for the gods and popped on that ring light. I don't like the way, I don't like the way he's talking. I don't like the way he's talking. I don't, I just don't, I don't. And then he says, say what you want about her or that video, but that shit will be in the history books. Okay, okay, Shane. Okay, Shane, your drama getting is gonna be in the 48th edition of the American pageant. Okay, Shane, is gonna be in the 2019 section of the American pageant. Okay, see, loser with a superiority complex. It makes no sense. It makes no, it's delusion. It all culminates together into delusion. Mm. Next part. Do I think Jeffrey orchestrated this whole situation? No, that's a lie. Um, do I, was Jeffrey excited to see competitor fail? Fall. Probably, he's Jeffrey fucking star. What do you expect? So you're, you're, so, okay, if you didn't listen to me or the multiple other black female commentators who told you this, will you listen to the man's friend who literally said he didn't, was not expecting any better from his friend? If you didn't want to listen to us, will you listen to the man who was actually there? Do you, are the goggles off now? Is, are, is it, oh, is that gone now? The man who's his friend said the naked mole rat was excited, relishing, foaming at the mouth, seeing a 19 year old crumble and fail. A grown man. If you didn't believe us before, he said it's straight from the horse's mouth. Oof. Straight from, do you believe us now? I didn't need you to because I already knew. Everyone already knew. Next part. <sighs> what part is this? Um, don't get it twisted, blah, blah, blah. Drama might be fun to watch, but it's not fun to get wrapped up in your conscious choice. Say it again, pastor, your conscious choice. You made a con, I, listen, why are you no longer confident in the mess that you made? That's what's really, um, I would say insulting. Why are you no longer confident in the mess you created? You didn't need to put him in the trailer to get yourself some views and some clicks. You could have just made a bit, you could have just stuck with the infomercial route and just made a classic nine part infomercial about the palette. Why are you no longer confident in your mess? Is it because it's coming back on you now? Were you not, not clearly, you guys weren't expecting it to go like this. You were expecting James Charles, I don't know why, you're expecting James Charles to sit back and take it, which was your first mistake. You didn't really know that man because anyone could have told you he wasn't gonna sit back and take it. You didn't expect people to turn on Tati and be like, why are you exposing this all of a sudden now? And you didn't, and you expected this man, the decaying meerkat, you expected him to come out on top. Okay. Good luck, Charlie. Stay true to your mess. Why are you no longer confident in your mess? Why are you no longer confident? You are now, bomb why are you now hopping around the love that you poured? You exploded the volcano. The volcano erupted because of you. Because of your tectonic plate, you exploded the volcano. Now you want to clean it up with a broom. It makes no sense to me. It, it sounds like he's trying to mop the ocean. It makes no sense to me. 
You chose to be buddy buddy with jobless sizzle fuck and now you're confused. Now it's drama may be fun to watch but it is not fun to get wrapped up in. How interesting is that? How interesting is that? How? Mm -mm. Nobody asked you to do this. That's what's crazy. All of this is unwarranted. Ain't nobody even know who. I, did someone ask? I'm I'm not in the fandom. Um, this, did you guys? Add, did the people ask for a documentary detailing the workings of the palette? Um, or was it unwarranted? Or if you did ask, did you ask for drama getting to be involved in it? Or what? Did that just come to you because of the trailer? I'm confused. Fourth paragraph-ish is him in his feelings and his like, um, oof, I skipped my part. This is like him in his feelings about the beauty community, which he's never been a part of a day in his life. It's crazy that you announce your exit from something that I, uh, Shame Charles, not Shame Charles, Shane Dawson was never in my beauty community, so I don't know what you're talking about. All right. If you keep canceling them and wanting them to go away, then who will you watch? I'm gonna read this again. If you, I'm sorry, if, and if you keep canceling them and wanting them to go away, then who will you watch? Can somebody get this man a Mountain Dew and tell him to get away from me? Tell him to leave me alone. Are you stupid? This is my question. Does he think the beauty community is nine people? Who? I don't know a lot of people do. I think he thinks beauty community is nine people. counting error whatever so your your top viewed videos are probably top makeup fails and anti hauls with vomit emojis all over the screen those are about makeup those are about makeup are you equating makeup products to human beings i'm interested in that i'm interested in unpacking that those are about makeup products those are about makeup products and he's talking about the beauty world is it negativity first makeup second blah 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 let's just stop here with the stink about negativity because some people got beans for brains and um equate group negativity and people holding people and brands accountable um i know it's seen people are like that's negative i'm like so am i supposed to stay positive that brands don't exist when they come out with bronzers am i supposed to remain positive about that this is me remaining positive I'm, remain, I'm so happy that Tarte thinks I don't exist. I'm so happy about that. I mean, I don't buy from them anyway, but I'm so, look at me remaining positive. This is me remaining positive. This is me remaining positive. I'm remaining positive. I am remaining positive. A smile on my face, because I can never ever be unhappy. That would be, that would be crazy. For me to be a black girl being angry, that would be crazy, right? This is me remaining positive. Kiss my ass. Eee! Okay, next. <sighs> Whatever. Then we go into paragraph five ish, sub paragraph five. And he's like, this is the, I don't care. He said, it's not worth it. And I feel like we all lost a bit of our soul during Drama Get In. Vous parlez français? Who's we? Who's we? We, 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 who's we? Who is we? Speak for yourself. I, I lost a bit of my soul. Who is we? Who lost, I'm sorry, what in the fresh hot hell is going on? Who is we? Who lost, I lost my soul during an internet fiasco? You're crazy. I lost my soul during a YouTuber internet fi It's not even, here's the thing, because they're trying to brush it off as some little itty bitty thing. You accuse them of being a predator. So, I lost my soul during this for what? Where? Where, where? My soul is doing just fine. She's perfectly intact. I don't know what you're talking about. Who lost whose soul? Speak for yourself. And then in the sixth paragraph, he's basically like, I'm done with the beauty world. Um, I'm 
when was I'm pretty sure in order to be in the beauty community you have to have an interest in beauty products i.e. makeup and perhaps do looks with said makeup I have never seen one look from Mr. Dingleberry ever a day in my I don't want to see it because it probably looks like garbage flaming hot garbage because I don't um I'm going off of context clues and then he says I need to get back to why I started YouTube blackface is why you started YouTube I need to get back to doing blackface and calling black women nigger monkeys on YouTube and that's the end of the statement that's the end of the statement that's what he said right I need to get back to what I started YouTube for blackface then he posts some tweet after, which I don't care about it. I, uh, he's like, I'm sad. You guys can't believe you me for this because I'm already sad and you guys are terrible people for telling me that this is a crock of shit. I'm sad. That's what that statement was saying. Um, and then what did he do? And then and then what did, what did, what did, what does a loser do in a situation like this? Deletes it. Hey, again, why are you not confident in the mess you started? Why are, I thought this was your tell all. I thought you wanted to hear the white one. I thought you wanted the world to hear you roar, stink. What happened? I thought you wanted us to hear what you have to say about this wretched community. What happened to the original plot of the movie? What happened to the original plot of the docuseries? What happened? Whatever. So what are Amanda's thoughts? Um, why does Amanda call Shane Dawson a loser? You might be wondering. You know the lo- Okay. You've met a loser before. I'm not- I'm talking about attention teat suckling dummies who have nothing better to do than beg for admiration and support. That's what I'm talking about. Who gave Shane Dawson his first pat on the back and a million dollars? Who gave him the attention and therefore was fabricated confidence? Demon Man. So now loser has to suckle the teat of Demon Man who gave him money. This is what this is what this is. This is what this Will I get sued? I don't Jeremiah Starcracker saw the kind of person Shane Dawson was, a loser. And as him being a reformed loser himself turned mean girl, he found a new loser that he could mold and make into whoever he wanted, right? He couldn't do it with James Charles because the thing is, James Charles is not that much of a, is not a loser in the same regard as these two. He's not. He's just, he's not in the same regard as these two. Cause you, listen, the video that he posted after, you know, he posted the crying video, then after like no more lies, a loser would, wouldn't be able to pull something like that off. I don't like the man, but a loser would never be able to pull something like that off. Jiggle Butt saw the loser qualities in shame and said, I can make him my next pawn. What would you expect of a for fellow loser turned mean girl due to money from, from God knows what? What would you expect? So y'all got played with that palette, but you already knew that. I'm not going to attack you guys for falling for it. Not you guys. I don't know. But if a Shane Dawson fan happens to watch this, um, I'm not going to like dig the knife in more because you already got played out of your money and got a palette probably with hair in it. So I don't need to make fun of you any more than you already can do to yourself. Um, so like, let's just end with this. This is something that I am now learning that people just don't understand. Racist people are not good people. I didn't know people didn't understand that. I, I mean, like, clearly. If someone does blackface, they're not a good person. So are you surprised he made this cash grab palette? You should not be. Why are you surprised? That is not a far, in fact, it's not a jump. It's a step. It's a step in the next direction. What, what are you mad or confused about now? It is not a far jump from telling a black, telling black woman you'll throw ass battery acid on them to try to take down somebody's career. So what are you mad, what are you mad about now? 
This is simple math. Pe racist people are not good people. They're not. So the whole benefit of the doubt, it doesn't know. Someone who does blackface is not a good, you guys thought someone who did blackface wouldn't try to scam you out of your money? Are you kidding me? He did pl His entire YouTube career was based off of Shanene. Isn't that, wasn't that his name? And now we're shocked? Like that's something I really, that's something that like out of this whole thing that was really shocking to me and people were like, he's attacking the beauty community. Bye bye Shane Dawson. But you got Black Lives Matter in your bio. That's very interesting. So. Nobody's shocked over here. So welcome to the club if you're just now shocked or surprised. Um, welcome to the club, I guess. Start paying better attention. You know, someone does blackface or is, has a violent hatred of black women as um, they do. Maybe you should pay better attention. But you know, these kind of people prey on they go after certain types of people because only certain types of people would fall for this stuff and that's all i'm gonna say on that so like it's not your fault but like certain people fall for this stuff and they know that certain people fall for this stuff but it's mostly children because chil children the it's why these youtubers their fan bases are made of children there's a reason why their fan bases are made of children all of these YouTubers who, have, who are like evil people, their fan bases are all made of children because you can manipulate children. But if there are some adult fans in there, there's a um, characteristic that all of them have. That's the end of that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say anything more. I didn't even need to make this video because you could have gone back and watched the videos that I've made, that um, as told by Kenya has made, that it's Keisha has made, that Nappy Headed Hoba has made. You could have gone back and watched any of those. Any of those that Sharita Explains It All has made, that Earth Mother has, has made. You could have gone back and watched all of those videos. But nobody wanted to listen, and it's fine. Because guess who didn't get scammed? Me. Guess who didn't get scammed? Me. Cause why would you expect better from a racist or two racist? You don't. Cause racists are not good people. Yay! We ended with a le I have a mosquito bite on my leg. Yuck, mouth disgusting. So that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. So yeah. If you like all my social media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun, go enjoy. And while you're here, check out some of my recent videos that are on your screen now. Yeah, hope you're staying healthy and safe inside your house. Inside your house. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.